Hi, Yogi fam. Welcome. So this flow today, we're going to be twisting a lot. So it's a nice rinse for any tension around your spine, your mid to lower spine, uh, across the whole back really. And um, any sort of mental, emotional tension too, it can be helpful for. So let's crack on. If you've got any issues with the spine, or of course, if you're pregnant, make sure you write to me before you do this practice or check with your doctor or both. Uh, now, a quote that I'd love to lead this practice with is um, one that I love from my mentor, Bob Proctor, who's not here anymore, but I study him all the time. His wisdom is phenomenal. And he said, um, you don't change the kitchen by painting the outside of the house. So you don't change the kitchen by painting the outside of the house. For me, I use this concept all the time. So when we're trying to change something in our life, it's, it's so common to look at the outside and go, okay, I want my work to change. So how do I change externally? Or I want my relationships to change, or I want something, something or whatever it is to change on the outside. So we keep trying to tweak the outside or move the furniture but really profound and permanent change happens on the inside first. And so for me, I'm, I'm caught up with this so many times in my life and even something I'm trying to shift right now, it's a really big one for me and it's been a pattern throughout my whole life where I'm realizing, mm, has that really shifted? And no, because it's a massive mindset and belief shift that needs to happen for me first to have any real profound shift in my external life. And so you don't change the kitchen by painting the outside of the house. If that speaks to you, it's just a nice reminder that change has to happen on the inside of us first. Why? Because our life is a reflection of our thinking and our beliefs and our self-image, how we portray ourselves. So it might be a nice reminder to you today as well if you find that you're constantly hitting roadblocks where you're trying to change something in your life and it's just not moving, then maybe you need to turn your focus inward. All right, let's get started with some breathing. So I tend to recommend you lay down for breathing only because if you're tired and you sort of drift off, you can fall over and hit your head. Uh, and sometimes people pass out, but more likely if you're tired, you might fall over and hit your head. So lay down is my recommendation. And now if you start by placing your hands over the side of your ribs, spread your fingers and place your fingers over your ribs and your tummy because we want to feel that whole area move as you breathe. We're going to breathe in for four and out for six to start puffing out those areas. And then I'm going to do a very activating breath for 50 breaths, nice and fast with a hold. So just do what you can. If this, all this sort of breathing is not for you today, just take deep belly breaths to get you into your body and ground you. All right then, lay comfortably. Palms over your sides, fingers spread over your ribs and tummy. Close your eyes. Breathe in, puffing out your ribs and your tummy for four, three, two, one. Breathe out, shrink it back down. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Four in. Six out. Four in, six out, four in, six out, four in, six out, four in. Six out. Four in. Six out, shrink down. Four in, puff out. Six out, shrink back down. Four in. Six out. Keep doing that if you want. Otherwise, join me for this activating breath in and out of the mouth 50 times, deep but fast. In, out, in, out. Let's go.
Keep going. Three, two, one. Let it go. Now deep breath into your tummy. Hold it for 30 seconds if you can. Always, if you're pregnant, don't hold your breath. Let it go. And just lay here for a moment to feel all the aliveness, all the activity inside of your body that we've woken it up. Just find your rhythm with your breath now. Give your knees a cuddle into your chest. You might still be pondering that quote, you don't change the kitchen by painting the outside of the house. It's funny how a lot of us get this intellectually. It's like, yeah, of course I gotta change myself to change something in my life, of course. But really when it comes down to it, if there's a big pattern you've got, like if you're always busy, or if you always overwork, or if your relationships just never seem to work out, or maybe you've got a, some sort of a bad habit. Like, has that really changed? Are you free of that? And if not, and if it's just circling in another form or not really leaving your life, then you haven't changed the inside to the point necessary. So maybe you need to turn to breath work or something, really self-investigate to free yourself of the pattern. I know that's my strategy anyway. <laughs> all right, come up. Let's meet on all fours. And just move side to side or any way you want here on your hands and knees. Just opening up, connecting. And then we'll meet in down dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Lift your hips up and back. Walk this out, opening up your calves. You can let your head hang, shake out your head if you like. Just relax your neck. Now lift your right leg high, turn your hips, knee to the ceiling, scorpion tail. Stay here or flip your dog, which is a one arm wheel. So feet flat, toes and knees face behind you. Lift your hips, you're working into this left shoulder. Step to the right hand side at the front of your mat so some of your toes come off the mat, if not all of them. Drop the back knee, rest on your forearms. You can rest on your blocks if that helps you out here. If you can't get to your forearms, that's okay. Hands is all right. If you'd like to add this, you could hold the back foot in. Now push the floor away and come to a twisted skandhas and a twisted side lunge. So lift your back knee, turn to your left side, bend the left knee, right hand to the floor, left arm to the sky. So you're twisting across your back. And we're twisting the whole practice today. Turn to the front, shuffle the right foot inside, drop the back knee and straighten the front leg. Just pull your toes back towards you. So you've got your blocks there, grab them if you need to hold them if they help you. Half Hanumanasana, half splits. Now if you want to get into the side edge of this right hip and leg, keep the foot flexed, the toes pulling back, bring your hands well off your mat, well away from you, and lean over to that side, turning the toes as well. When a lot of people do this, they don't put their hands off their mat, they have them far too close. So make sure your hands are away from you, you're leaning into your arms. Now face forward again, bend the front knee, three-legged dog, right leg to the sky, down dog to high plank, all the way down to the floor, peel your shoulders back, chest forward, squeeze on your glutes and lift your legs, so you're not lifting very high, 
trying to wake up your glutes. Curl your back toes under, high plank, down dog, left leg high. Turn your hips knee to the sky. Stay here or flip. Lift your hips, feet flat to the floor, it's a one arm wheel. Turn and step to the left side at the front of your mat. Drop the back knee, drop your forearms if you can. Option to hold the back foot, but if you can't reach it, don't worry about it. This one particular pose, people get obsessed with that back foot. It's so amusing in class. Like if they can't reach it, they're just trying forever, but you just, just let it go. If you can't reach it, don't worry about it. All right, hands to the floor, push the floor away. Side lunge, Skandasana. So turn to your right, bend the right knee, right arm to the sky. Keep your toes facing the side of the mat. Don't turn to the back of your mat because we want to be in a side lunge, not a low lunge. Twisting across the back. Now turn to the front, shuffle your left foot to centre, drop the back knee, bow over this leg. I'm doing my best not to knock the microphone because it's so sensitive, it's so good, but it's so sensitive that when it scratches, it's really annoying. <laughs> Hopefully I'll do okay today. All right, so again, if you want to get into the outer edge of this leg, hands well off your mat, turn the toes as well. You can hold your blocks if you need. So this is optional. Lean into the arms. And face forward, bend your front knee, three-legged dog, left leg to the ceiling, down dog. Lift your heels, bend your knees, walk forward or hop to the front of your mat. Halfway lift is a little deadlift, Ardha Uttanasana, squeeze on your glutes, then fold in half. Roll slowly to stand, one link of your spine at a time. Lift your head, peel your shoulders back, arms sweep up overhead. Palms draw into heart center. Close your eyes. Once more with our quote to start by Bob Proctor. You don't change the kitchen by painting the outside of the house. The change first needs to happen inside for any profound and lasting change to happen outside. So take another deep breath. Let it go. Open your eyes, arms sweep up overhead. Palms join to take your bow. Half lift to breathe in. High plank, straight to low, shoulders elbow height. You can be on your knees if you need. Either cobra, all the way down, arms bent, or up dog, thighs squeeze on, arms straight, legs lifted. If your back is tight, just do push-ups instead of these, then downward facing dog. You'll see me, I always do push-ups instead of those. So lift your heels, bend your knees, step or hop to the front. Halfway lift, bow, rise, fold. Half lift, vinyasa, high plank to low, back bend or push-up. Down dog, following your breath, heels lift, knees bend, step hop or handstand to the front, Ardha Uttanasana, half lift, fold in half, Uttanasana, arms sweep up, fold Uttanasana again, your bow, half lift, vinyasa, back bend or push up. Downward facing. Heels lift. Knees bend, step hop or handstand to the front. Roll your way up. Palms to heart center. Stay as you are, I'm just gonna face you so you can see what's going on. So chair pose, right elbow inside of the right knee. Reach your left arm up. Stay here, or if you can reach the floor, your knuckles or fingertips can go down. Just take a breath. 
palms together, left elbow inside of left knee, push against it, reach your right arm up, stay here, or knuckles to the floor. Palms together, fold over your legs, grab onto your two blocks, take a seat all the way down, straighten your legs. Blocks will touch your thighs, so they're very close. Then just lift your bottom as high as you can. Don't let it, don't bring your hips forward, just lift up. Shoulders away from your ears, your legs can relax, waking up the muscles from your hips up. So we're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blocks can go out of the way. Flash out your hands, just warming up the wrists a little bit more. Roll your wrists. <clears throat> Vinyasa, high plank to low. Back bend or push up into down dog. Right leg high, squeeze on your glutes. Step forward, back heel down, left arm back, warrior two. So you got your box closed because you might need them frequently. Straighten your front leg, lean forward. Your back toes are either facing sideways or slightly forward, but not behind you. That's going to be quite useless. So either fingertips to the floor or palm or hand on the block. Or if you want to really work these left obliques, push the back of your hand against the inside of the shin here. If you can, left arm reaches forward, getting into that side. Warrior two, bend the front knee again, Virabhadrasana two. Left hand to the floor, turn your toes to the right. Right foot behind, wild thing, lift the right hip, reach forward. Take a breath. Knee to nose, try to touch your knee and your nose together, hands to the floor. Vinyasa, high plank, low. Push up or back bend, down dog. Left leg high, low lunge. Warrior two, right arm back. Sink low a couple of breaths. Left toes and knee face forward. Don't let them roll in or turn in. And again, your back toes face sideways for this shape. Straight front leg, lean forward. Trikonasana. Reach up or forward with the right arm. We want a straight line with your shoulders over that front leg, so nice and straight. Try not to stick your bottom out or turn your chest down. You can look wherever you like, really, up or down. Back into your warrior two, bend the front knee. Swim your right hand to the floor, turn your toes to the left. Then take your left foot behind the right leg. Wild thing. Working into this right side, into the shoulder. Now knee to nose. High plank to low. Push up or back bend as you take a full breath in. Down dog. Let's move through this now. Right leg high. Low lunge. Warrior two, left arm back. Sink lower. Straighten the front leg, lean forward. Chukonas in a triangle. Warrior two. Left hand down, toes turn right. Wild thing, right foot behind, reach forward. Knee to your nose, vinyasa, low plank, back bend, push up, down dog, left leg high, low lunge, warrior two, right arm back, lower, front leg straight, lean forward, triangle, reach up or forward, bend the knee, warrior two. Right hand to floor, toes turn left. Wild thing, left foot behind, reach forward. Knee to nose. High plank to low. Push up or back bend. Down dog, last round like this. Right leg high. Low lunge. Left arm back, Virabhadrasana two. Sink lower. Straighten the leg, lean forward. Triangle. Back into your warrior, bend the knee. 
Left hand to floor, toes right. Wild thing, step behind, reach forward. Try to touch knee to nose, high to low. Push up or back bend. Down dog, hips high. Left leg high to breathe in. Step through. Warrior two. Exhale, lower. Straighten the leg, reach forward. Trikonasana, reach up or forward. Back to your warrior, bend the knee. Right hand to floor, toes to the left. Wild thing, left foot behind, reach your head. Knee to your nose, tuck it in. High plank to low. Back bend or push up. Downward facing hips up. Lift both heels, bend your knees. Step up or handstand to the front. Roll slowly to stand. Arm sweep up. Palms to heart center. Step to the right with both feet. Have a block nice and close. You might need it. Now step your left foot about two thirds back. You want your hips facing the front of the mat. Your back toes are turned on a slight angle like at 10 o'clock. Now you want to make prayer hands behind your back if you can. Reverse namaste. So try to join your palms. Fingers face up. Pull your shoulders back, chest open. If that's not working, just hold your elbows. Take a breath. Fold halfway, getting your hamstrings ready. Take another breath. Fold all the way. Take another breath. Now see how you go. Frame your front foot, your thumbs touching the outer edge and the inner edge, palms flat. If you can't get your left palm flat, you need a block. And the block can be any of the three heights, as long as you can keep the back heel down and both legs straight. And that's what we want. So left hand down, right arm high. Try to stack your right shoulder on top of the left. Turn your chest to the side of the room, the right side. So if you don't need a block, that's fine. But if you need it, you may as well use it. We want really good form here. We want a lot of sensation from your right lower back down the outside of the hip and leg, the back of the leg as well. Now touch the left thumb to the right foot or the block to the right foot. That's, that's when you're in the deep twist. Stay here or the hand can go outside of the foot as long as you're in really good form. Stay in the shape, just pull your right hip back and your left hip forward. So you're really sending your sit bone to face the wall behind you. And it's up to you where you look. A lot of people love to look up, that's fine if you want to, you don't have to though. I like to just relax the neck. So revolve trikonasana, twisted triangle. Take a breath. Hands to floor, move the block if it's there, send the back foot further back. Three-legged dog. Vinyasa, high plank to low. Downward facing dog. Lift your heels, make your way to the front of your mat however you want to get there. Roll your way to stand. Arms sweep up overhead. Palms during a heart center, step to the left, step your right foot two thirds back. So nice long stance, long-ish, not too close. Reverse namaste, palms together behind your back or hold your elbows. Take a breath, lift your chest, fold halfway. Another breath, fold all the way. Another breath. Hands to the floor. Try to get that right palm flat, otherwise use a block. The thumb is touching the foot. Your left arm is going to reach up. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward. So you can see how my bum is sticking out there. Now it's facing behind. Try to stack the shoulders. Look up if you want to. Both feet are flat to the floor. You're taking up the whole width of the mat with your stance. You're trying to pull this right chest around to the left. And if you love that quote as much as I do, you might be pondering it here. 
so you don't change the kitchen by painting the outside of the house. For me, I always, I thought I got that concept many years ago, but recently I've been trying to change something in my life. <laughs> it's been a pattern since I was a kid, like literally a kid. And I'm like, has that really changed? No. <laughs> I'm giving it my best, <laughs> but it's going to, it's taking a whole massive mindset change, a belief system change. So I'm really trying to change the kitchen right now. I swear, I'm giving it everything. <laughs> it's taken all of my focus most of the day. I'll get there. Okay. Move the block if it's there, slide the back foot back, three-legged dog. Vinyasa, high plank to low. Back bend or push up as you breathe in. Back to down dog. Let's move back to the flow. Right leg high. Two more rounds. Steps forward. Left arm back, warrior two. We're adding on. Lean forward. Keep the front knee bent, extended side angle, left arm forward. So you've got your blocks if you want to hold a block here. The arm is inside of the leg. The arm is like a second shin, so push the knee away. If you want more core, both arms forward, but try to keep your left armpit pointing up to the ceiling. Don't let your hips drop really low here. That's not using your leg muscles at all. So just keep that 90 degrees in the front knee. Warrior two, straighten up, lean forward, trikonasana. If you want more core here, you can reach this bottom arm out in front of your chest, like a corkscrew, trying to turn your right chest towards the ceiling. This top arm can be up or forward. I'm liking up right now. It's easier. <laughs> Not easy, but easier. Bend the front knee, reverse your warrior, reach back. Notice the front knee stays bent. Left hand to the floor, turn your toes right. Wild thing, right foot behind, reach forward. Take a breath. Now this is one of my favorite shoulder stability exercises and of course core work. Oops, I banged the microphone. Lift the right arm and leg. You're on one hand only. We're coming to low lunge and so move the leg, three. Move it a little more, two. You land on one, then reach your left arm forward, right arm behind, squeeze on the back thigh. Twist left arm over right leg. I like to make a fist with the bottom hand for this, push against. You can have palms together if you like. Now, if this is too strong on your spine, just put your left hand on the floor or a block. Reach both arms forward. Really make this front leg work, reach to the sky crescent lunge. Then into stalk, lift your back knee, arms down. As gracefully as you can, kick forward, reach forward, take a seat. Left arm up, twist to your right. Stay here or unless you wanna take an arm balance, you can have your hands to the right. Drop your shoulders, lift your hips. Any leg variation. Take another breath. Reach up. Now fingertips to the floor, try to keep them connected. Otherwise, hands to blocks, fingertips to blocks. Try to stay connected. Don't let your fingertips lift whatever uh, they're touching. Try to keep the front leg straight. You're bowing your head to this knee. Keep the leg straight, keep your fingertips touching the floor or blocks. Come into your low lunge, it's super hard. Back heel down, warrior two. Right knee bends. Just like at the start, side lunge, left knee bends at the back, twist, left arm to the sky, twisted skandhasana. Other side, right knee bends, left hand down, right arm up, twisting across the back. Switch again. Left knee bend, left arm up. Now to the front, low lunge, Straighten the front leg, pyramid pose. Hold your box if you need. Option for your splits if you want to float the back leg, maybe palms together or some other arm variation. 
to low lunge, three-legged dog, right leg high. Vinyasa, high to low plank. Deep breath in to down dog. Left leg high, low lunge. Warrior two, right arm back. Sink low, lean forward, right arm forward, extended side angle. Think straight lines, shoulders over the front leg. Maybe both arms reach, waking up your core, the front leg. Warrior two, straighten your front leg, lean forward, triangle. Option to reach your bottom arm in front of your chest. Keep your muscles working in this front leg so you're not locking out that knee. Back into your warrior, reverse. Bend deeply into your left knee. Right hand to the floor, toes turn left. Wild thing, step behind, lift the hip, reach forward. Lift the left leg and arm, you're on one hand, to low lunge, three, two. Looking at the front hand is helpful. One, right arm forward, left arm back, setting up this twist. Hook over your left leg now. Again, your right hand can be on the floor if this is too strong. Oops. Both arms reach forward slowly to crescent lunge. Stalk pose, lift your back knee as you bring the arms down. Kick forward, reach forward, take a seat. Then you'll twist to your left. If you want the arm balance, lift your hips. Drop your shoulders, many different leg variations you can play with. Side crow if you like, both legs kick out. Both arms reach up, fingertips to the floor or blocks, head to your bent knee. Keep that leg straight as you kick it back to your low lunge. I'll give you a minute here because it takes people ages. <laughs> Warrior two, right arm back, sink lower. Twisted Skandasana, bend the right knee, left hand down, right arm up. Other side, same thing. One more time, bend the right knee, really stick your bottom out behind you. Then to the front, Pyramid pose, straighten the front leg, bow. Stay here or float the back foot split. Any arm variation. Low lunge into three-legged dog, left leg to the sky. High plank to low, adding your spirit dives or handstands if you like. Down dog. We're going for one more round. I'm gonna add some more things. So right leg high, exhale, lunge. Left arm back, warrior two. Extended side angle, left arm forward. You can take a half bind or a full bind if you want to, just keep this straight line, shoulders over leg. This could be bird of paradise if you like. So if you're in the bind, you could step the back foot forward, keep the bind and try to lift your chest. Maybe you'll straighten this right leg. I don't have the best bind going on here. Right. I still don't. <laughs> Let's meet back in the lunge. Warrior two. Prep for triangle, straighten the leg, lean forward. Option to reach the bottom arm in front of your chest. Trying to turn your chest toward the ceiling.
Reverse your warrior, reach this right arm back. Left hand to floor, turn your toes to the right, wild thing, right foot behind, reach forward, lift the hip. Lift the right arm, lift the right leg. Three counts to low lunge, try to stay on one hand, looking at the front of the mat is helpful. So three, keep moving the top leg, two, one, you've arrived. Left arm forward, right arm back. Make sure your back heel points up. Twist over the leg if you can, otherwise hand on the floor. Now if you want to, you could bind. I'm just mindful of my microphone, hopefully I won't bang it. If you're binding nice and easily, you could take a reverse bird of paradise. We step the back foot forward into your bind. Just take it slow. So it's a really nice rinse, this one. It looks extreme, but I quite, it feels good for me. Stretching the nerves in that leg, rinsing the organs. You can look back if you like. It's like you're trying to front kick the wall in front of you, so flex the foot, push the heel forward. Back into the lunge if you're not still there. Reach both arms forward and then slowly up. Stalk pose, lift the knee. Reach forward, kick forward, take your seat. Twist to your right. Arm balance if you like. You could also hold the top of the foot with your left hand, pull it across as high as you want it, just depending on the sensation. Just get the sensation you want. Option to reach this right arm back, or not. Face forward, place your right foot inside of your left leg, Genesis Sasana. Seated tree, arms sweep up, fold forward and down. Now you're welcome to bend this knee as much as you need to. Sweep your right arm up and behind, stand on the hand and knee, reach your left arm back, stargazer, opening up out of the left hip. Take a seat. Now, we're going to try sundial pose. So I'm going to turn to face you to show you, but just remember the left leg is straight and your right knee is bent. I'm just switching it over, so I'm mirroring you now. All right, many choices here. Firstly, Bring your left foot to the floor. Grab the left knee and heel and start to move that leg back and forward, immobilizing the hip. Stay here if it's enough for you. This is worthwhile doing. Or if you want to try, lift the foot up and down. See if you've got that mobility. If the knee goes back, if the foot will lift, you can try the next stage where you bring this left arm inside and out. You want this left hand way off your mat so you can lean into the arm. The mistake people make is they have the hand too close or they don't even worry about pressing the hand down, they get too concerned about this leg. So press this hand down away from you into the floor, lean into the left side. I find that gives you a lot of space. Then the next stage, start to look under your right armpit. You might eventually straighten this leg but don't get caught up on straightening it, just keep it safe. Keep leaning to the left, your left hand is flat to the floor, you're looking onto your right armpit. But don't pull anything out of place, just take baby steps. Take as many months as you need to get into this shape and if this leg never straightens, it's okay. For me, my hamstrings are quite open, so it's getting into the hamstrings, but very much around the right lower back, all those muscles and tendons around that area and around the side, around the obliques. 
All right, bend the knee, come out of this. Stack your left shin on top of the right first square pose, double pigeon, or cross your left leg in front. So you can fold forward. You can rest your forearms on your blocks if you like. Bow as deep as you want to go. Let's take five deep breaths. Back to our quote. You don't change the kitchen by painting the outside of the house. So really ask, like, is there something you've had with you for years, some sort of pattern, anything, work relationship, self-relationship, some habit that you've really wanted to change but never really have. You might have moved the furniture around a bit, but you haven't really smashed it. So maybe your focus needs to be more internal, like mine. <laughs> more surgery. <laughs> All right, now from here, I'm gonna turn around again. Rise up, so your left leg was straight before, so straighten it out again. Your right foot is on the floor. We're going back to that straight leg lift. See how you go, fingertips on the floor or on your blocks. Bow your head to your knee. Try to keep the left leg straight as you sweep it back. Good luck with that. <laughs> it's a fun challenge. Warrior two, left arm behind, take a breath. Bend the back knee, you're in your side lunge, left arm to the sky. Other side, right knee bends, right arm up. Switch once more, really stick your bottom out to the left. Turn to the front, straighten your front leg, bow pyramid. Stay there or come into your splits, any variation. If you want a few handstands, go for it, but I'd love you to try your press splits handstands if you can where you keep your ribs on the thigh, your arms are a little bent. You do like a little push up to push the floor away. So ribs on the thigh, arms slightly bent, you do a little push up. So there's no swinging of the leg. You gotta be pretty flexible, I suppose, to start in this one. If you gotta swing, you gotta swing, that's okay. All right, low lunge, high plank to low. Back bend or push up. We're coming into our last side. Left leg high. Lunge. Warrior two, right arm back. Extended side angle, lean forward, right arm forward. Stay here or both arms forward. Again, you could take a half or a full bind. I'm taking a full today. I'm gonna to move to bird of paradise. So if, you want, if you're in this full bind, you have the option to step forward lift the bound leg, try to straighten up your spine. Then if you're there, option to straighten out this left leg, toes to the ceiling. We meet back in our lunge for warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach forward, triangle. Option to reach your left arm out in front of the chest. Warrior two, reverse your warrior left arm reaches behind. Right hand to the floor, toes turn left. Wild thing, take the foot behind. Lift the hip, reach forward. Left arm up, left leg up. You're on one hand only. Look down, three counts, low lunge, three. Keep moving the top leg, two. Land on one, right arm forward, left arm behind. Twist over the left leg. Stay or lay on the leg and bind. Stay there or if you can easily bind, Option to step forward for your reverse bird of paradise. Bound balance. Maybe look back.
Let's meet back in that lunge if you're standing. Both arms reach forward and then up. Stalk pose, lift your back knee, arms down. Kick forward, reach forward, take a seat. Twist to your left. Stay here or it could be an arm balance or you could hold the foot with your right hand, kick across, look back, maybe reach back. Look forward, place your left foot inside of this right leg, reach up, fold forward and down. Five deep belly breaths here. Loop your left arm up and over, stand on the hand and knee, reach your right arm back, stargazer. Take a seat. Alrighty, from here, I'm going to face towards you. You've got the right leg straight. Now bring your right foot on the floor, grab the knee, grab the heel, stay here, work into the hip or try to lift the foot up and down if you can do that. Push the knee back, lift the foot up. If you want to try, right arm goes up and inside. Remember, this right hand goes far away from you, so you can lean over to that side. Get the lean first. Make sure your hand is off your mat. My mat's lengthwise, but yours will be sideways, so your hand will be off the mat. Lean into the arm. This right hand is flat. Now you try and look under this left armpit. The leg might move for you, but if it doesn't, just be okay with that. bend the knee, come into your square, your right shin is on top of the left, otherwise you're crossing your legs, right leg in front. Rest on your blocks if you would like to, if you need to. Let's rise up. I'm going to face the same way as you are once again. So your left foot is on the floor now. Your fingertips are on the floor or blocks. Keep the front leg straight as you bow your head. Try to keep the leg straight as you sweep it through. Back heel down. Warrior two. Right arm is back. Your left leg is in front. Twisted side lunge. Bend your right knee, right arm to the sky. Rinse across your back. Other side, left knee is bent, left arm reaches up. Twist one more time, stick your bottom out to the right. Face forward, straighten this left leg, use your blocks if you need. Stay here or turn it into splits. Stay here or split handstands. Remember, press handstand if you can. So you, your ribs are on the thigh, your hands are out in front. Keep this top leg up. Bend your arms a little and push. And again, push. One more time, press. Low lunge, vinyasa, high plank to low. Back bend all your push up down dog. 
Now, you can just drop your knees to come to a seat or float through. If you float, remember, push the floor away, try to land bottom and then legs. And now, because we've been twisting, I want to continue with some folds. So reach up and fold over both of your legs. Knees as bent as you need. Wrap your strap around your feet or your towel if you like. Last few minutes of practice. Hopefully you feel really activated, alive, rinsed, connected, happier, calmer in the mind. Stay here or take this onto your back. I'm going to take my microphone off for this so I don't bang it. So stay in that forward fold, otherwise take it backwards for plow. Halasana. Getting into your spine, getting into your neck here. Give yourself space to breathe. If you want to today come upside down, either put a block under your hips, any height, or hold yourself. If you're in shoulder stand, try to get your piece, uh, pinky fingers parallel to your spine. You'll start with your hands on your hips, we all do, but ultimately you want to move your hands onto your back. Stay up for longer if you like, otherwise start to come back into your plow. If you can, otherwise just cuddle your knees into your chest. Now roll onto your back. Happy baby, grab your feet or your shins. Put that over there. Knees wider than your ribs. If you want to move your legs around, do that. We've been twisting the whole practice. If you need more twisting, go for it. Otherwise, give your knees a cuddle. Take any last movement or shape that you like. And then make your way into your Shavasana. As you know, for me, that's blocks under calves. That's super comfy. I'm going to leave you here. Please take your five minutes. Enjoy the music if you're playing the playlist that I'm sharing with this. We're still on 2.22. Really let go. Let yourself be held. That was an awesome effort. Well done. Just remember if that quote speaks to you, Bob Proctor, you don't change your kitchen by painting the outside of the house. Let it look inside first. What can I become to attract different? Let's take a breath. And sigh it away. Your Shavasana. <sighs>